Thank you, Tom. Thank you. I travel the country making hearing protection for marching bands, industries, big places. We've been, now been doing this for five years. We got a patent on this product because of him, University of South Carolina, and uh, Michigan State and University of Delaware. You guys are the first. He was the first one to really bring it to our attention how bad it is. And it's a lot worse than you can ever imagine. A lot of you guys are gonna go on and have a career in music, but because you love music now, you're gonna go have a career in listening to music. It's, we're at a really bad time right now. This entire generation you see around you now is under the bus. It's really, really, really bad. And just to show you how bad it is, if I could have just to show, how many freshmen do we have in the room? Raise your hands, freshmen. Okay, so you see how many, there's a lot of freshmen in here. Okay, so how many kids in this room, hear how quiet it is? How many kids in this room have ringing in their ears? Raise your hands real high. Put them up real high. Go ahead, don't be shy. Put your, look, I want everybody to, now look, everybody to look around here, okay? This is tinnitus. I'll have it till I die. You're gonna have it till you die. It gets worse, okay? We weren't told this when we were growing up. We are told how to balance a checkbook. We are told about safe sex. We are told about all those other things in school. We weren't told that marching band's gonna take our hearing. How many kids in this room have noise-induced hearing loss, have some kind of hearing damage? Raise your hands. Put them up high. Raise your hand high. Put them up. Now look around here, okay? We've all heard the term epidemic, right? That's, epidemic is really bad. You agree? Okay, an epidemic is 15 people per 100,000. What did you guys just witness here? 60% of the sample group. What is that? A catastrophic event when we dropped a bomb in Hiroshima, we only got 40% of the people. We got more than 60, 70% of this entire group has this. But like I said, you're under the bus. We have serious problems. All we can do is try to not make it worse. So I'm here today to beg and plead with you guys. We sell a premium product that's patented that allows you to be able to hear the music, hear the color of your notes, hear everything where you are. It's expensive, I know, but I'll help finance it. I'll do whatever I can to help you guys get this product to protect your hearing. So we're out in the hallway. It's $225. Hearing aids are 10 grand. I have them. So there's one more thing that I just got sent to my phone. They're doing a, um, what's his name, the doctor? Okay, do you guys know him? He's paying you guys to go take, to go take hearing tests, okay? I need that result. So if you guys can go take this hearing test and you're gonna be involved in a global study that's gonna fix this problem for other kids because it's your kids like wearing seat belts. You know, I didn't wear seat belts when I grew up. A seat belt was this, okay? We didn't wear bicycle helmets. We wear seat belts, we wear bicycle helmets. We didn't do concussion testing. You guys are at ground zero. Everybody in this room is involved in this movement to take care of your kids so that one day when they're coming up through, they'll protect their hearing, they won't need hearing aids. We're all, and, and I promise you this, we're all gonna need hearing aids in this room because we got thrown under the bus by just not knowing about it. So I will do whatever we can do to get you guys in hearing protection out there. If you have any further questions one-on-one, -on -one, protecting your hearing is, is an individual thing. This is a marching band, this is a group thing. But each person has to be responsible for their own hearing because when you're laying in bed at night and it's whistling in your head, you're the one suffering with that. And we're trying to keep that as low as we can. Because I can tell you this, the average band director right now retires at 54 years of age. The reason he retires is he can no longer hear the music correctly and the band doesn't sound good. So he retires. So we've got to fix this. You guys are here. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it.